Hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Yeah, today I'm making a short video out here from Kimber Camp. And the reason is that I have made some changes on my uh, shelter, my little Viking house. And uh, I would like to show you that and talk about what changes I made. So you can see here, if I turn the camera like this, yeah, yeah, you can see. I put up some new doors in and they are made of wood. I got some uh, scrap wood from a friend and I made these doors and also something inside. But uh, the other doors were plywood and uh, this is more uh, authentic. And uh, yeah, I'll open it and then you can see inside what's happening there. Can you see it? I'll bring you closer. And as you can see, I made a little fireplace inside the shelter. So um, when I'm in here, I can cook my food over this fire. And I'm cooking my coffee now. I can see it's almost done. I can see the water is boiling, so I'll put it up a little bit. Yep. And uh, yeah, then I'll open this door so I can get some light in here. Yeah. What do you think? I think it looks so nice. Yeah. And as you can see, I made a little holder for my drinking horn. So I'm when I'm uh, making my dinner tonight. I can have some beer in this But uh, now I think I'll make the coffee Oh, yeah Good strong coffee Yeah, then I just Lower it down a bit so that like this until it boils. Yeah. Now the coffee is boiling. I'll take it up a little bit. Yeah. And then just have to cook for a minute or so. And then it's finished. Now it's time for coffee. Uh, Cornelius is with me today. He's uh, sleeping right now. Uh, it's because uh, I choose to come out here uh, late afternoon and st spend the evening here together with Cornelius. But we uh, went for a long walk uh, this afternoon, so he's tired now. And uh, I'm sure he'll wake up when I'm preparing my food. But now, oh yeah.
and my little special thing. Yeah. Hope you all have a nice summer. Uh, we have had uh, over a month of really good weather. I told you in that my uh, in, in my video from uh, Kimber Camp, um, and I wasn't allowed to uh, use fire out here. But now it's been raining for about 14 days, and uh, this weekend uh, it is good weather, and uh, next week it is raining again. So it's typical Danish summer weather: uh, rain and uh, summer uh, sun, uh, rain and sun. Uh, uh, varying all the time, so yeah. But nevertheless, it's a good uh, way to spend a couple of hours out here. And uh, when I've had my coffee and a little pipe of tobacco, I'll tell you about uh, the thoughts I have uh, behind these things that are made and uh, show you in detail um, how it's made. So yeah, hope you enjoy that. Now it's time for coffee. And of course, uh, Cornelius has um, water. It's very hot. For Denmark, it's hot. Uh, I don't think for many people in the world. But uh, here in Denmark, it's about 28 degrees Celsius. So that is unusual for us. Yeah. some over. I wasn't planning of making a video uh, before August but when I got this wood uh, I just had to make uh, the new doors and uh, this fireplace so I spent a couple of hours <laughs> I spent a couple of days out here first back home I made it back home it was easier and then uh, brought it out here and put it up and uh, my wife uh, helped me a lot so thanks for that Gide. Yeah. There's a little bit smoke in here, not much. Um, I find some uh, dry firewood and yeah, dry firewood is uh, not making a lot of smoke so I use this. I use this and uh, hope that uh, yeah, I'll show you later uh, my principle, my principle in this. Feeling cozy, Cornelius. Cozy, Cornelius. Mm -hmm. First of all, I would like to show you the doors I made. I put on a handle here and uh, my um, rooms on the outside and the inside. And this one is because then I can lock it from the inside when I'm sleeping out here. And uh, yeah, both doors are made uh, the same way. I can also close this 
and uh, yeah then I got this I'll show you yeah it's small but you can see here uh, it's a frog course cross that I made myself out of uh, copper with a little Thor's hammer in and uh, yeah I had one uh, some years ago but I lost it I think that th the thief stole it so I made a new one and this will protect me from trolls and other evil spirits out here in the forest if there is anyone uh, so yeah I think and over here where, where I got my old fireplace uh, with the chimney I put this uh, stool and then I can put my uh, rucksack a backpack on this uh, maybe I'll make something I can hang it up because then I can sit on this and uh, then there's this uh, I can close it I al always have had this but not used it much but now I can make some draft in here so that the wind comes in the shelter and out this the smoke will uh, go out this way and it's actually working very nicely the smoke is going up this way I'll show you I'm not sure you can see it but the smoke is coming out of this little window then my little fireplace here uh, with my little uh, drinking horn I can put on and uh, this one I can uh, lower and higher it and in the back here I can do this if I want to make a bigger fire like this then I have much more room here but when I put this down I can use this for putting my things on and uh, eat from maybe considering making some kind of table here I'm not sure uh, for now it's good I think it's working great and in here the bottom is only to here and then uh, I put some iron plates on so that the fire won't burn the sides and put sand in so much sand so there's about 25 centimeters sand I think that is enough it won't burn through and uh, to the bottom so all in all I'm very pleased with it and uh, looking forward in the winter I can sit out here and enjoying uh, the the coziness of the fire and the warmth here it's much more Viking style they uh, had a fireplace inside the, the houses in the middle of the houses and uh, it was the only way they had heat in the Viking Age and they prepared their food over the fire and it was a place where all the people sat around and uh, talking and sharing tales from uh, uh, the North mythology and also from the, uh, the wars that had been uh, in. So yeah, so, this is my new fireplace that I made back home and uh, set it up here. I like it a lot. And uh, tonight when I'm going to uh, make my my meat, I can take this one off. And then I have this one from TTM Metalworks. And then I can put it here and prepare my food on this. So now I'm going to make a steak for Cornelius and me, but I could also put a pan on and uh, make my breakfast when I'm making now one night out here and I just take it aside either way and uh, yeah TJM Metalworks makes some great stuff uh, all my fire angles and uh, so on are made uh, by him and I can definitely recommend you to go in on his website and uh, look what he can offer you. He made uh, he makes the skillets that I designed uh, to put on this. So uh, those of you who have seen it in my videos uh, can buy it from that guy over in England.
I think I'll have another cup of coffee and then sit outside. As you can see here, the blackberries is coming, they're still green, but uh, I have a lot of them out here. Yeah. And I also made this hanger for my cooking uh, utilities, that I have them uh, beside the, the fireplace. And, uh, if you like my videos and uh, not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribe to my channel. Um, hopefully I'll reach the 100,000 subscribers uh, in some month and uh, I plan to make a very big uh, giveaway uh, when that uh, happens. I have a couple of uh, Aryan fireballs that I know a lot of you are uh, waiting for. Uh, they are not going to production uh, at the moment. Uh, some difficulties, but I hope uh, later this year or perhaps next year will be um, available again. But I have a couple of brand new Aryan fireballs that I'll be uh, making a giveaway about and also some stuff that I made myself including a thrall cross with a tor hammer and uh, perhaps a spoon or so, something I made myself. So uh, please go in and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already a follower and uh, I will be very grateful for that. Yeah. And another thing I would like to uh, share with you, a friendly subscriber uh, told me that uh, there was uh, some findings in, in Sweden, uh, some from the Viking Age, and uh, in one of the cups there were traces of coffee in. So, um, yeah, I can't find the article, the uh, scientific proof, but it's an interesting thought. Perhaps the Vikings uh, did have coffee. Uh, they were down in the Mediterranean and uh, the coffee was made in Ethiopia. And why not uh, the Arab countries uh, used coffee at that time? And perhaps the Viking liked the, uh, the taste of coffee and brought it up here to Scandinavia and, and drank it. Uh, it's the first time I hear that, uh, that um, coffee traces are found uh, from the Viking Age. Very interesting. And uh, if that's true, uh, then 
uh, when I make my coffee here, it's not uh, completely wrong regarding the working age. So, uh... Yeah, now it's time for cooking our our dinner. Just want to um, let it burn a bit down so there's mostly coals. And then um, have this steak. Yeah, where you can see it. It's a ribeye. And I got some asparagus and uh, before you tell me, know that the Vikings didn't have asparagus, but I like it a lot. So I decided to to make asparagus. Yeah. Now the flames are not so high. I'll try to cook my steak over here. And there you can see I put some uh, spices on. Sure, it will be delicious. And then I just take this on one side and take the asparagus on the other side. Come in. Perhaps it was the fox. That Cornelius can see because he's going in that direction. <gasps> but I'm sure when the meat is finished, he'll get back home and uh, eat it together with me. Oh, yeah. This is probably the fox. It usually comes down here during the night to say hello. Yeah. I think it's finished. I'll take this over here and uh, yeah. Then I lay these on and put them on here. Yeah. That'll do. And now time for a beer in my drinking hall. And it's a brown ale. I like them a lot. Let's see if I can lower him down here. 
with a piece of meat. It's a little bit hot. So I'll wait a while. Mm. Cornelius, dejlig kød, lovely meat, oh yeah, isn't that good? Mm. I don't think you would like asparagus, but mm. meat is good, yes, mm. yeah. And some beer. Skull everyone. Mm. Yeah. Is it good? It's good, Cornelius. No. Not as red as I had hoped. What? Heck on it. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. You look good. Mm. You want more? Yeah. Cornelius, stop. Hey guys, stop. Hier ik hoor. He's a good watchdog. He hears everything. Det betyder, du er en god vagthund, Cornelius. Du hører alt. Ja. I really like this fireplace inside. I know I said that before, but it's so authentic. And uh, yeah, I like it. It's a little bit hot here during the summer, but in the winter it would be perfect. Then I can sit here and warm by my fire and uh, yeah, make my cooking, my coffee, my food and so on. So I'm very uh, happy for the results that I made here and uh, yeah. So 
it's cold everyone hope you're having a nice summer and uh, yeah I'm not going to uh, go anywhere this summer uh, my wife and me will be uh, back home making some stuff on the house and uh, taking some small trips we are talking about uh, making a, a one-day canoe trip I don't know if uh, the weather will allow that but nevertheless uh, we're having a good time together and uh, yeah enjoying It was a delicious meal and uh, yeah, now I'm just going to sit here and enjoy uh, the evening until it's getting not completely dark but yeah. Here in Denmark at this time of the year the, the sun goes down about 10 o'clock and it'll be half past 10, 11 before it's dark here, out here. So uh, we have the the long days, the light nights here in Scandinavia. It's so wonderful to live here, uh, especially during the summer. We have a lot of uh, light, almost um, almost 20 hours of uh, sunlight every day here in the summer, but in the winter. Uh, in Denmark we only have about six hours, so... But I love being a Dane and uh, enjoying the summer. I know uh, some of you live other places that they have uh, darkness about 7, 8 o'clock, but here in Denmark it's about 11 o'clock. Isn't that amazing? And up north, uh, and a bit there, of the northern part of the Scandinavian countries, Sweden, uh, Norway and Finland, they have sunshine uh, 24 hours. The sun never goes down there. The midnight sun is shining. And I made a video about that on my trip with my wife and old Cornelius to uh, North Cup some years ago. We uh, experienced the the midnight sun. It was amazing. And uh, those of you who are uh, the funds to do that, you should uh, make that travel. It's it's so awesome. Yeah. Yeah, folks, this was all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video from Kimber Camp with my new uh, equipment, my new doors and my new uh, fire pits inside the, the shelter. Yeah, it's been a wonderful afternoon and uh, evening here and, uh, and Cornelius is uh, enjoying himself. He's barking all the time. Thank you again for watching Kimber Bushcraft. I really appreciate that. And please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see. And uh, yeah, then I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye. Take care.